Well, good morning, YouTube. It is Tuesday morning, February the 19th, 2019. 2 19 -19. Wow. Um, right here in North Carolina today, old soldier coming at you. Uh, woke up this morning and it was sleeping just a little bit. Of course, it's not cold enough for it to stick or do anything, but it was just kind of interesting to see it sleep. Um, given the fact we really haven't had too bad of a winter so far. But anywho, anyhow, anyway, I hope everybody's doing great today. Um, if you're liking my videos, folks, you know, hit the like button, put a comment below, tell me what you think. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Help me to develop my content a little better. But anyway, what I want to talk about today is... Uh, veterans suffering from the Gulf War Syndrome. Why? Because I suffer from it. Um, there are those in the Veterans Administration and the Department of Defense that still to this day deny, you know, the, the said mentioned existence of such a syndrome. Um, they like to act like they care, but I really doubt the validity of their concern. Long story short, what is the Gulf War Syndrome? Well, one definition is it's a, uh, there's no one diagnosis, but there's multiple symptoms, one of which is chronic fatigue, chronic pain, weight loss, weight gain, headaches. Um, folks, I'm going to tell you. In 1991, when we went into the ground war, there's no telling what, what Saddam Hussein and Iraq is putting the dirt in the air and the water. Um, you know, the fact that we drove through oil well fires. Okay. At the end of the ground war, we were all blowing black soot out of our nose for two or three days. Then we were having to take the PB tablets. Don't ask me what PB stands for. Can't remember. That's the other thing. Memory loss. Um, something bromide. We took those. It was a non-FDA approved drug. To help counteract any chemical exposures. The one thing they won't address is biological. Because many of the symptoms many of us Gulf War veterans suffer from uh, have kind of a biological overtone. What do I mean? Um, I have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia by a neurologist. Um, I have what's called a, I, the early antigens to the Epstein-Barr virus. Now, if you don't know what the Epstein-Barr virus is, it's the root virus for uh, mononucleosis, the common cold, um, and various other uh, diseases related to that line of viruses. I had one neurologist tell me that I'm one of a handful of people that even though the virus is dead or dormant in my body, my immune system continues to attack it, which creates chronic fatigue. The fibromyalgia creates the chronic pain, and, and it has its own fatigue-related issues. Um, my first claim with the VA on this, they denied it. They said there's not a, they said there wasn't enough evidence. Well, you know, being the person I'm in, I don't take that as the gospel, so I appealed that claim. And um, based on my blood work, blood work the VA did and didn't didn't bother to acknowledge, it was my neurologist, my civilian neurologist that found it. Um, you know, they had to acknowledge it then, and then they compensated me accordingly. You know, I'm 100% total and permanent disabled veteran. The point I'm getting at is if you're a Gulf War era veteran, uh, a veteran of Iraq, even Afghanistan, um, you need to fight the VA for everything you can get because they're not disclosing to us everything that we may have been exposed to. Now, they did this with another group of veterans called the Vietnam Veterans with a little funny thing called Agent Orange, uh, which was a defoliant that was used to defoliate the jungles during the Vietnam War. Um, but what they didn't bother to, 
to tell the troops was that the, the, the level of concentration they sprayed on the jungles that our troops come in contact with was carcinogenic, i.e. causes cancer. You know, I served 22 years in defense of this nation. There's others that have served more, there's others that served less. Um, the point of time is, is really not important. It's the fact that we stood up and we said we will. We swore an oath to defend this country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So I would encourage all my brothers and sisters out there, uh, get your congressmen involved in these issues. We need an answer to this Gulf War syndrome. I'm tired of waking up with my knees and joints aching. Now, granted, some of it's age and arthritis and other things, but, you know, when I feel like I got the flu six months out of the year, you know, and I, I can't get a clear explanation of why, this crap, you know, they need to they need to dig into this a little more, you know. Um, instead of spending all that money on foreign aid, they need to focus it back here. Hopefully, President Trump, you'll get that under control as well, you know. Sending millions of dollars to China so they can, you know, scientists can find out why monkeys throw their poop. Come on, people. You know, China makes enough money of its own. It don't need our foreign aid for that. And these countries that don't like us, why are we continuing to give them money? You know, President Obama, why did you give all that cash to Iran? Why did it have to be flown over on an airplane in the middle of the night? That money could have been used to help veterans that even you, sir, promised to help. Where was your promise fulfilled? President Bush, second one. It was during your tenure that the VA was discovered to have all these problems. Now, I'm not faulting you gentlemen as, as presidents. But it did happen on your watch. And some measure of accountability needs to be, be made. There's too many of us that went over and said, I will, and did, and now are back here suffering. And, you know, there's mornings I struggle to get out of bed. Struggle. This morning was not an exception. And it's just progressively getting worse. If I exert myself, it takes me twice as long to recover. And granted, age has something to do with it. I get that. But it's... Sh anyway. Don't want to say any wordy dirds. Get kicked off of YouTube. And for all you liberal idiots in Congress, focus on the people of this country and not people from other countries just for a moment. Because y'all are bent on ruining this nation with the policies you're trying to institute. And some of you Republicans are just as bad. Y'all need to pull your heads out of your fourth point of contact get y'all's act together. Quit trying to impeach the president. If y'all put twice, you know, if y'all only put half the effort of what you're putting into trying to impeach the president into fixing the problems of this country, you know, us veterans probably wouldn't have much to complain about. Neither would the rest of the nation. I'm getting off on a tangent, but I'm just, I'm fed up with the lack of information. Um, and, you know, most of what I found about the Gulf War Syndrome, I had to do my own research because the VA, with all its registries and other crap, have not provided any answers. And as of to date, they have not been forthcoming on any real answers. And I don't think they're putting the effort into getting any real answers. Of course, their administration, even under the new president, is still fairly screwed up. Why? Because you've got people in administrative positions that are incompetent. Oh, there's a trigger word, incompetent. 
I said it, incompetent. That's the problem with government right now. There's too many incompetent people in positions of authority that have no clue as to how to do the job nor the skill set to accomplish it. And it trickles down to the little old clerk behind the counter that's supposed to process your travel voucher or help you fill out forms to get benefits because they're incompetent. They were given their job because of some other rule or regulation, and I won't get into the ins and outs of that, people. That's another story for another time. But most, a lot of you people know. And because the government's afraid to fire people because of lawsuits. You know? Fire a few of these Muldoons. Hell, President Reagan fired a ton of air traffic controllers in the 80s. He didn't care about getting sued. They swore an oath to do a job and refused to do so. But anyway, that's enough for the rancy old soldier today. This is actually a longer video than I intended it to be. But anyway, um, again, if you want to book my poems, Thoughts of an Old Soldier, go on Amazon. They're $15 a book. Just look it up under Thoughts of an Old Soldier. I'll post the link below. Um, I've got some t-shirts and hats on viralstyle.com. Again, I'll post those links below as well. You know, help me out, folks. Support me so I can continue to build my content and my channel. Um, eventually, I will get my Patreon linked once I figure out how to use Patreon. Folks, I'm new to all this. I'm learning. Um, but I want to provide you quality content. Uh, I want to talk about the things you want to talk about. I want to do the reviews on some of the stuff you'd like to see done. Um, and also just talk about things that are near and dear to me. But in, in closing... Um, as always, if you don't know Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, open your heart to him. Ask him in. Ask him to forgive you your sins. He'll change your life, people. I promise you. Um, again, he didn't promise us an easy life here on earth, but he did promise to be with us until he calls us home. So with that being said, God bless. Have a great day. Old soldier out.